Welcome to another session of Go Ask Debbie, Excel Relative versus Absolute Cell Reference. Okay, let's get started. For this example, let's add a commission formula. The formula is equals B2, which is the revenue, times 0 0.06, which is based on a 6% commission. Next, let's copy the formula to all of the rows and add a total. To copy the formula, Move your mouse to the lower right corner of the cell. When you see the black plus sign, click and drag to copy the formula down. Notice in cell 3, the formula has changed to reference cell B3. This is the default in Excel, which is relative to the row we copied the formula. This is relative cell referencing. Now let's say we want to see what happens if we increase the commission percentage to 7%. Do so by changing the percentage in the formula to 0.07. But in order to do this for every person, we would have to manually change it or copy the formula again. If you had a large amount of data, this could be very time consuming. Now let's redo the formula using absolute cell referencing, which means we want the formula for the commission percentage to always remain as cell E2 in this instance. While typing the formula, and with your cursor on E2, press the F4 key to lock the cell the formula is referencing. This is called absolute cell referencing. Notice Excel added dollar signs around the E and the 2. This is the locking or the absolute cell reference. Now let's click and drag to copy the formula down to all rows. Notice the E2 does not change when we copy the formula as it did before. It will always remain E2 because of the dollar signs that locked and created absolute cell referencing. Now when we change the commission percentage in cell E2, it will automatically update all of the cells with the formula referencing E2. Let's review. If we type the formula again, just entering E2, then copy the formula down, the other cells will be blank because they are trying to reference cell E3, E4, etc. But there's nothing in those cells. It does this because Excel expects that when you copy a formula down to each row, each row is going to reference something within that same row. That is relative cell referencing. So we need to enter the formula and with the cursor on E2, press the F4 key to lock the cell reference. Then we can copy the formula and notice every cell and formula references cell E2 for the commission percentage. There is a time and a place for both relative and absolute cell referencing. However, you can see that absolute cell referencing can definitely be a time saver. Unfortunately, not many people know how to use it. Thank you again for viewing this session of Go Ask Debbie. For more tips like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel.